your poisons from spreading, your government has sealed you all within this dome. Go, run! Whatever it is, it cut off all our roads. Not just the roads, the whole town. Who's hurt? Raise your hands. Without the attitude. Our best guess puts the dome at 20,000 feet, sir. Did he just call it a dome? You think we might be stuck in here a while? I think that even if what's wrong suddenly becomes right, the army's just gonna quarantine this place. I want roving death squads around the perimeter 24-7. I want 10,000 tough guys. Should we tell them the truth? Ten, I have an urgent note from the president. It says to release this town immediately. Why is it written on a leaf? Yeah! What ruthless madmen could have done this to us? Why Chester's bill? Why us? Maybe we're being punished. We're all on the same side. Let's see who your friends are and who isn't. Oh, it's a good thing. I, I can't hear you. Looks like we're stuck in a giant fishbowl. I used to have fish, but then one of them got sick, and the other one ate him. Let's an old episode of Under the Dome, featuring a special appearance by Bruce Willis as the guy who lives right next door to the dome. I'm not in the dome! This is the line right here by my house! My watermelons. Under the dome. I need a hammer! Only on CBS. I'll be right back! Phil! You... <laughs> I broke the dome. Whoops, you all right? You all right? It's amazing no one was hurt. Bye, everybody. The pitcher, steroid Santa Claus, kicks and deals. It's a long fly ball going back, back. And the ball shatters the sky, bringing the ocean itself down into the stadium. Oh, Simpson just broke this dream's reality wide open. Good. I'm out of the dome. Fresh air! Freedom! <laughs> All right, you lead good lives. Oh! Uh... Go! Ha <laughs> Go! You blew it! Go! You blew it! Go! Ha <laughs> You blew it! Go! Uh, Houston, uh, say again, please. You blew it! Go! Houston, we have a problem. Rolling, you stupid. I have got to carry this box and, uh, and come through here. Move out of the way. I saw you talking with my girlfriend. Houston, we have a problem. Paul, we got a red on Overbeck. We have a primary oxygen tank leak. We need to preserve his SOP. Solution? Emergency tie line. We'll come into another suit. Do it, Doc. Uh, Bill, this is Houston. Uh, you got a leak in your primary O2 tank. I see it, Houston. What do we do? Uh, you've got an emergency line in your pliss. Hook it up with Randall's spare vent nozzle, and you'll share it till you get back to the Pilgrim. Houston, is that sanitary? One small step for man. One giant leap 
What? I didn't do anything. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Don't do that. No, no, come on. Hey. Oh man. Oh. 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 What's me? What do you mean it wasn't you? We're 35 million miles from the nearest person! Heart rate up, adrenaline up, stomach muscle spasming. Overbeck's in distress. Look at these methane levels. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, stay again, please. Houston, we have a problem. What's the situation? The likelihood of you dying within the next five minutes is 87.61%. What's your favorite thing about space? Do you have a gun? Because I should really have a gun. gun. We will both die because of... Space! <laughs> you will never go into space. Fact. Space does not exist. Silence, you sadistic monster. I've got my memory back, and I'm going to wreak a terrible vengeance. Taking an idea I got from a Stephen King book, I'm going to cover this town with a doom! <laughs> it's been done! Really? You don't say. Did you know about this? Uh-huh. I see. Bye, everybody! Uh.